we're going to talk about how to create a lesson plan. We're moving forward with our crafty teacher training, as I'm calling it. And you might be wondering, I know that like some of us are a little bit like, ooh, what's a lesson plan? That sounds weird. That sounds tedious. So this is why you should definitely pay a lot of attention to this step. Okay, so why is it important to plan your lesson? Okay, so number one, the more prepared you are, the more confident you're going to be when you step into that classroom. Okay, I know that a lot of us are taking this class today because we want confidence. We want to boost our confidence and we want to be able to be as, you know, we want to step up there and be the teacher of this class. We want to be confident. And this is a really very integral part of making sure you're ready to teach your class. And I like to think of this example. I like to uh, think about this a lot, actually. So would you bake a pie for the first time without a recipe? Let's say you knew that you had, you know, you had like flour and butter and water and some ice maybe for your crust and then the filling, I don't know, peaches, some sugar, et cetera. But would you really bake that pie without a recipe? You, you could, because you know what a pie looks like. You've eaten some pies, maybe. But would you go into the kitchen and bake your pie without knowing the recipe? Maybe. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it, right? You want to know that you want to know the measurements. You want to know what to do first. You want to know how long to bake your pie. Okay, there are very specific steps to follow to ensure that your pie comes out in an edible form. Okay, so I'm going to liken the lesson plan to baking a pie. Okay, and just to continue drawing out this pie metaphor a little bit longer, I this this applies to me or maybe somebody who has had a lot of teaching experience. I decided recently to bake a pie. This is actually me baking a pie. This is not class related, but I'm going to use it to bring it back. I actually tried to bake a pie from memory. It was last, last, last holiday season. And let me tell you, I was like, I have made this pie so many times. I got it down. And I totally messed that pie up. I'm talking, I did two, did two very important steps for making crust. I did them in the wrong order. And it destroyed my pie. Okay, so even somebody who has like a lot of experience or, or more experience needs to still be writing lesson plans and, and reading through the lesson plan before each class. Okay, so this step I'm going to urge you guys to spend time on before your class. Do not go into your first class having skipped this step. Okay. Number one, besides the confidence, besides you know, needing to know the steps, it helps you break down what you're going to do into manageable chunks. This was kind of referred to in a question that was asked earlier. I know how to do it, but can I teach it? Well, writing a lesson plan is going to help you break it down into manageable chunks that will make your students' experience much more enjoyable. Okay, and the lesson plan is actually going to be the number one thing that you're going to use to help you propose your class to a venue, which, as we know, is an important, very important part of actually getting a teaching job, is getting a venue to say, yes, you may teach here. Okay, unless, of course, you're teaching it in your home, which in this case is also going to be very important because you need to get students to come to you. Okay, so you need to make your class appealing to them, right? You need to give them the value. You need to tell them the value of taking your class. And you'll find that by going through this process of writing a lesson plan, OK? And then to circle back, confidence, OK, preparation equals confidence. Confidence equals empowerment, OK? So you will feel like the most empowered version of yourself going into this class with a lesson plan knowing exactly, you know, within reason, what is going to happen during your class. 